everyone, happy to see you here on my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting question 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power minus a equal to 4 and we need to find our a. If you have your solution, your answer, you can also write your solution down into the comment section because we will check our solution here in just few minutes so it will be really interesting to check to check our answers. Okay, so first of all let's multiply both sides by 2 to the power a. So let's do this right now. First of all we are multiplying our, our left side by 2 to the power a. As a result, we have 2 to the power a by this expression, so 2 to the power a times 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power minus a, so we change nothing, we just multiplied both sides by this uh, 2 to the power a. Okay, our first step, we just multiply by 2 to the power a, and on the right side we have 4 times 2 to the power a. Okay, right now let's multiply this expression by this parenthesis, okay, 2 to the power a by this expression inside parenthesis. As a result, we have 2 to the power a times 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power a times 2 to the power minus a and equal to 4 times 2 to the power a. So I hope you understand this step. We just multiply this 2 to the a by this expression inside parentheses. And right now we need to know a really important property. This property looks like that when we have a to the power m times a to the power n, this is equal to a to the power m plus n. So when we have same base but different different powers, we can easily add our powers and use this one common, a common base. And right now let's apply this property right here. We have the same base but different, different powers, so we need to add these powers. Okay, so let's do this. We have 2 to the power a, 2 to the power a times 2 to the power a, so the same beginning. And right here we have 2 to the power a plus minus a. So we have a plus 2 to the power a plus minus minus a and equal to 4 times 2 to the power a. And right now if we look closely right here we have a plus minus a. So we add a and minus a. So as a result right here we have we have 0. So we will have like a minus a. This is the same thing as a a minus a which is equal to which is equal to zero. So as a result we will have two to the power a times two to the power a and plus two to the power zero. Okay, plus two to the power zero equal to four times two to the power a. Okay, right now let's look closely at this expression in the beginning. We can easily do the same thing with this expression in the beginning because we will have two to the power a plus a. So we will have two to the power 2 to the power 2a in the beginning. Right here, 2 to the power 0 equal to 1, so plus 1, and equal to 4 times 2 to the power a, 4 times 2 to the power a. Okay, so I hope you understand this step right here. We have 1, right here, 2 to the power 2a. We just add a, a plus a. And this is, looks like a quadratic equation, okay, because we have 2 to the power 2a, so we can easily work with 2 to the power a maybe to the second power. And right now, let's let's do the thing. First of all, let's write this all of this expression from the right side. Let's write it on the, on the left side. So as a result, we have 2 to the power 2a. On the second position, let's write this expression minus... 4 times 2 to the power a and we still have this one so plus 1 and equal to equal to 0 and it looks like a quadratic equation but but when you know one really interesting trick this 2 to the power 2a we need to write it in another way we need to write it as 2 to the power a raised to the second power okay this is absolutely the same thing because when we consider this 2 to the power a to the second power we need to know a really interesting property when we have a to the power x raised to the power y, we will have a, a to the power x times y. And we need to multiply this as well. So we have 2 to the power a times 2, or we, we can write it as 2a. So this is absolutely the same thing, 2 to the power a raised to the power 2, uh, is absolutely at this 2 to the power, 2 to the power 2a. So everything is great. And right now we have minus 4 times 2 to the power a, 4 times 2 to the power a, and plus 1, equal to 0. And right now if we look closely, we can easily we can easily write our substitution because we have 2 to the power a and we have 2 to the power a right here. So let's write our substitution. So let 2 to the power a is equal to is equal to x. Okay, and right now instead of this 2 to the power a, we will work according to according to our x. As a result, we have x square minus 4x minus 4x and plus 
and plus 1 equal to 0. Let's solve it. Let's write our coefficients. We have a equal to 1, b equal to minus 4, and c equal to c equal to c equal to 1. Right now let's find our discriminant first of all. Let's do this. So we have d equal to b square minus 4ac, which is equal to we have b square minus 4 square minus 4 times 1 minus 4 times 1 and times 1. So from here we can easily say that our discriminant equal to minus 4 square we have 16 minus 4 equal to equal to 12. 16 minus 4 equal to equal to 12. So right now let's find our x first and x second. We know that our discriminant is positive so it means that we will have two two real solutions. So our x first and x second equal to, we have our formula minus b plus minus square root of d and all over all over to a, which is equal to, we have minus b, so minus minus 4 plus minus square root of discriminant square root of 12 and all over 2 times 2 times 1. Right here, minus minus, so we have plus, so we equal to 4 plus minus. This square root of 12 we can write as square root of 4 times 3. So we have square root of 4 times 3 and all over all over 2. Okay, according to a basic property, square root property, we can easily split it, we can easily consider it as square root of 4 times square root of 3. So when we have square root of a times b, we can write it as square root of a times square root of b. And let's apply this, this property right here. So as a result we have 4 plus minus square root of 4 times square root of 3 and all over all over 2. And as a result square root of 4 equal to 2. So we have 4 plus minus 2 square root of 3 over 2. And as a result in conclusion we can easily divide both numerator by 2. So we can easily divide it, this as 4 by 2 plus minus 2 square root of 3 by, by 2. We can easily cancel these two. And as a result, 4 divided by 2 equal to 2. So our x first and second equal to 2 plus minus square root of 3. 2 plus minus square root of 3. So right here we will have two, two uh, solutions. Okay, so we have x first equal to x first equal to 2 plus square root of 3, and x second equal to 2 minus square root of 3. Okay, x second equal to 2 minus square root of 3. But don't forget that our 2 to the power a equal to x. So right now we're going to find, we're going to solve an equation 2 to the a equal to x first and 2 to the a equal to x second and then we will find our a because our equation we are solved in the beginning, our equation we solved in terms of in terms of a. So right now let's continue our solution. Let's try to solve these two, two equations when we go back to our substitution. So let's do this right now. All right, so in the previous step we solved our quadratic equation. We had two roots, but don't forget about substitution. So right now we need to find our a. We know that 2 to the a equal to x, but x we need to solve two, two equations with x first and x second because we solved the quadratic equation and then we will find we found uh, two roots. Okay, so first of all, let's use for example x x first. So x first equal to x first equal to 2 plus square root of 3. Let's solve first of all this equation. So x first equal to 2 plus square root of 3 and let's plug in this x first into this spot and as a result we will find we'll find our a. So we have 2 to the power a equal to 2 plus square root of 3. 2 plus square root of 3. Right now let's apply log on both sides. This is uh, the, the easiest trick right here. Let's apply log on both sides. As a result we have log 2 to the power a equal to log of this expression 2 plus square root of 3. 2 plus square root of 3. Right now this is like the basic uh, property when we have log a and right here we have power b. This b will come down right here. As a result we have b log a and let's apply this property in this on this left side. As a result this a will come down right here. As a result we have a log 2 equal to log 2 plus square root of 3. And the final tricky move we're going to divide both sides by this log 2. So let's do this then we will have our a. So let's do this we will have our a equal to log 2 plus square root of 3 over over log over log 2. And there is like a great property in, in algebra when we have log a divided by log b, we can easily write it as log a 
base of b. Okay, so we can easily write it in another way. We can easily write it that our a is equal to, according to this property, of course, log base of 2 of this 2 plus square root of 3. This is like more easier answer for us without a fraction. So this is our a, a first. But don't forget about a second because this is our, uh, in, in terms of this, is our solution in terms of a x first. But don't forget about x second. We need to solve this equation in terms of x second. So let's do this. So 2 to the power a equal to 2 minus square root of 3. So our second part of this question is solving this equation. So 2 to the power a equal to 2 minus square root of 3. And according to the same algorithm, we can easily apply log on both sides. So let's do this. When we apply log on both sides, we have log 2 to the power a equal to log 2 minus square root of 3. According to the same algorithm, we can easily write it as a log 2 equal to log 2 minus square root of 3. And in the same way, we will have absolutely the same solution, absolutely the same root, but with the with the negative sign. So as a result, we divide it by log 2. As a result, we will have absolutely the same thing according to this property. We will have log 2 minus square root of 3, but base of base of 2. Okay, so this is our two solutions. And right now we're going to check it. Let's see what will happen when we plug in these into our in our question, so we have 2 to the a plus 2 to the power minus a equal to 4. So we know that a first equal to log 2 of uh, log 2 plus square root of 3 base of 2 and a second equal to log 2 minus square root of 3 base of 2. So right now let's try to plug in, for example, this, this a first and let's check our, let's check our root. First of all, let's rewrite our question and let's rewrite our roots on the left side. So we know that a first equal to log log 2 plus square root of 3 base of 2 and a second equal to log 2 minus square root of 3 base of base of 2. All right, base of 2. And first of all, right here, we need to rewrite our question. So we have 2 to the a plus 2 to the power minus a is equal to 4. And this is our, this is our check. We're going to check our our roots. First of all, let's check, for example, our, our a first. As a result, what do we have? from here we have 2 to the power this log 2 plus uh, log 2 plus square root of 3 base of 2 so 2 uh, to the power log 2 plus square root of 3 base of 2 and right here we can easily write it in our denominator okay because 2 to the power minus a we can write it as 1 over 2 to the power a okay when we write it from when we bring it from our denominator to numerator we can write it as positive so as a result we have plus 1 over 1 over 2 to the power log base of 2 of 2 plus square root of 3 and equal to equal to 4 okay so as a result we have 2 to the power a this is our 2 to the power minus a we can we write it in, in our denominator and equal to 4 okay as a result what do we have this is our basic property when we have when we have b time b to the power log b base of a we can easily write it as uh, b uh, only our mm, only our a sorry yeah we have b to the power log b we can easily cancel this and as a result we have only our a and in the same way we can easily simplify this expression so 2 to the power log 2 of uh, 2 plus square root of 3 we can easily write it as 2 plus square root of 3 we can easily cancel this cancel this expression so we have 2 plus square root of 3 Plus, right here, we can easily do the same thing. We can easily cancel this log, uh, this 2 and this log 2. And as a result, we have 1 over 2 plus square root of 3. 2 plus square root of 3. Okay, after first step, we have this, this expression. And of course, this need to be equal to 4. We don't know exactly, but this need to be equal to 4. Right now, let's simplify it. First of all, let's, let's uh, find the common denominator. As a result, what do we have? We have 2 plus square root of 3. This is our common denominator. And as a result, we need to multiply this expression. So we have 2 plus square root of 3 to the second power and plus 1. Need to be equal to, need to, be equal to 4. Okay, right now let's raise this to the, power, to the power 2. As a result, we have 4 plus 2 times 2 times square root of 3 and plus square root of 3 square and of course this plus plus one all over two plus square root of three let's simplify it we have four plus four square root of three so we have 
4 plus 4 square root of 3, 4 square root of 3, plus square root of 3 to the second power, we can easily write it as 3, and plus this 1. Of course, this one needs to be equal to 4, we don't know exactly, but let's simplify it. So all over 2 plus square root of 3. Right now we have 4 plus 3 plus 1 equal to, equal to 8. So from here, let's continue on the right side. So we have 8 plus 4 square root of 3 over 2 plus square root of 3 equal to equal to 4. And we don't know exactly, but right now when we factor from here our when we factor from here our 4 in our uh, numerator, so we have 4 and inside parentheses we have 2 plus square root of 3 all over 2 plus square root of 3 equal to 4. And right now we can easily say that when we cancel this 2 plus square root of 3, we have 4 equal to equal to 4. So it means that our left hand side is equal to right hand side. So our root is absolutely, absolutely correct. And you can also check the, uh, check the second root, but this is, uh, uh, you can also check it, but the uh, answer will be absolutely the same. So let's write our final answer to this question. We check it, we solve this question absolutely. So our a first equal to log 2 plus square root of 3, base of 2. And we have a second equal to log base of 2, 2 minus square root of 3. All right, so this is our two, uh, two solutions, two root. We have a real number root, which is also really great. You can also write a solution, write a question down into the comment section. So I hope you understand my explanation. We have two roots. We checked it. We solved this question absolutely. So you can also write your notes, write your thoughts about this question. So you can also see a plot. You can see a graph to this question. You can see these points of intersection. And I hope you understand this geometrical interpretation, which is also really great. So thank you for your time. See you in the next videos.